Hello, my name is John, and we're going to continue with the review over the classic Nintendo Power magazines. These are from this particular one is from May, June, 1990. It looks like we're going to cover uh, Super C, a whole bunch of other classic Nintendo games for the NES, as well as Game Boy games. So uh, let's check it out. Let's see what games are covered in this particular magazine. In case you guys are interested in seeing other Nintendo Power magazine reviews before this, I've done other reviews over those. So I encourage you guys to check those out if you guys like. Let's take a closer look. This is it. This is Nintendo Power May June uh, issue. It retails for three fifty in the U.S., four fifty in Canadian. It's going to go over Super C as the main feature. It's a pretty cool cover. Uh, also, Final Fantasy code name Viper Dino Wars special bonus classified info insert. And on the back, it talks about Nintendo World Championship nineteen ninety. So it's an advertisement for that. Now, who would have thought back then that those cartridges would be worth so much today? Pretty amazing stuff. Let's open this up. And looks like we have a uh, little information about if you want to subscribe to Nintendo Power. Here's a table of contents. Uh, looks like Final Fantasy, Super C, Dino Wars. Everything in kind of the rose red here is an uh, NES. Uh, you got special features in blue. You got reviews in green. And uh, I don't see anything about Game Boy at this point. I know they did have Game Boy during this time, so I'm sure we'll see something about Game Boy. But here is a player's pulse. Uh, mailbox, people can write in. Power player profile. Oh, every every month they'd highlight uh, a particular player. Final Fantasy. This is the first Final Fantasy for the NES, and who would have thought that this franchise would have grow into to uh, what it is today? In fact, you know when when Square made this, this was actually they were losing money, and they were this is their last game they were going to make it. That's why they called it Final Fantasy. Uh, but pretty cool detail. You don't see this anymore in in review magazines today. A lot of review magazines, gaming magazines today, are reviews over games, not necessarily how to play games. They're not strategy guides like they were back in the day. And look at the artwork in here, the animation, anime, the, the animation they drew here, drew here. Awesome, good stuff. Three big challenges. Super C, which is kind of the follow-up to Contra. Okay, good game by Konami. Really hard though, extremely hard game. Talks about those different levels and they used to like patch these little scenes together. Dino Wars, you know, I can't say I've ever played this game. From looks at it, it looks like a side scrolling shooter. Looks kind of fun actually. Different stages, looks like there's six stages. Here's Nintendo Power Awards 1989. So, uh, best graphics is Mega Man 2, best challenge in Ninja Gaiden. Best theme fun in the Turtles. Best play control is Mega Man 2. Mega Man 2 is winning quite awards. Uh, Zelda 2 is best character. Best ending is Ninja Gaiden. Best player versus players, Tecmo Bowl. I'd have to agree with that. I love Tecmo Bowl. Super Tecmo Bowl is even better. That's an awesome game. But overall, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Interesting, even though it only won one award. But that's a really hard game. I have it on my Play Choice 10 arcade as well. And it's pretty challenging. I like the arcade one better. Let's follow up. Uh, Howard Nestor, every month they had a comic book with Howard Nestor. Nestor was kind of the face of Nintendo Power. Codename Viper, another Nintendo game. Again, showing you different le levels, different stages, little items that you can pick up. Bore Fighter. I don't know how you pronounce that. <laughs> Probably butchering it. But uh, this is another uh, shooter, it looks like, for the NES. I haven't played this one either. I've checked this out. If you guys ever played these, let me know if you guys think what you guys think about them. Here's the top 30 games uh, in 1990. Uh, you got Super Mario Bros. 3 is at the top. I uh, just was released during that time. Tetris, of course, great. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, uh, Zelda 4th, Batman, Shadowgate, Mario Bros. 2, Mega Man 2, Ninja Guy Infinite, wrap up the top 10. Then you move on to here. Popeye is number 25. That's interesting. Rad Racers 29, also by Square, I believe. Uh, Mario Brothers, the original Mario Brothers, 18th. Those are like original games for Nintendo back in like 85. I'm surprised they're still on the list. Uh, players' picks. These are points. Pro picks. These are points. These are kind of what top games people okay decide, I guess. New games now available. Adventures of Lolo 2. Rocket Ranger. Wheel of Fortune. Family Edition. Tombs and Treasures. Uh, and Journey to uh, Silas. So it goes over each one of those. These are new games coming out for Nintendo back when this issue was released. Rocket Ranger, Wheel of Fortune. I never really liked these these games. 
uh, for the NES exact show, you know, game show ga uh, games anyway. Tombs and Treasures, I do remember this game. Had RPG elements to it, it's pretty fun. Journey to Silius. And then this is the poster, it looks like, oh you got a cool Final Fantasy poster, that's pretty sweet. And every issue, uh, last few issues anyway, had this classified information, so a little segment here talks about uh, different codes, Arkanoid, which is a really hard game, Mickey Mouse, Adventure Island, other challenging games. All these games back in the day were very challenging. Kung Fu, Super Mario Brothers, Dig Dug, Bubble Bobble, Arkanoid. So it goes on, Rad Racer, Contra. This gives you the Contra code right here. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, and start. Or select start if you're playing two-player. DuckTales, another great game by Capcom for Nintendo. I love those old school Capcom Nintendo games. They're fantastic. Uh, turtle Tip, where you can jump on the turtle. Uh, World 3-1 and get the unlimited lives. Everyone, a lot, of, a lot of people know that one even today. So, pretty cool. And you got it here first on Nintendo Power. Interesting they have more bonus stuff for DuckTales. It's interesting they just include it all one day. That's pretty cool. Punch out different codes on how to get to different characters. Kind of cheats. And the whole idea is you can rip this, this little segment out and keep it separate from your Nintendo Power. Even Game Boy Tips, Motocross Maniacs. This was a lot like, like Sight Bike. You can go upside down and stuff. Pretty cool. Load Runner, Golf. And here's the second half. On this side, it looks like it's Viper. Uh, Coding Viper, starts in the back. So it was a two in one poster. It's pretty cool. Here is the Game Boy. I knew they were going to talk about the Game Boy here. And games is Batman, uh, Gargoyle's Quest, Mr. Capcom, I believe, Fist of the North Star, Bases Loaded, fantastic. And these are the days when the Game Boy came out. Batman, uh, it is by um, Sunsoft, I believe. And it's a port, I believe it's very similar to the NES port. I might be wrong there. Maybe it's a little different. Gargoyle's Quest, another side scroller. Some of these early Game Boy games, man, they're really fun. And to find boxed Game Boy games today, it's very challenging. But you got bases loaded, you got quicks, Fist of the North Star. And these are the reviews. Ninja Gaiden. But notice they're not really rating how good the game is at this point. They're just showing you how to play it. So definitely magazines have changed. Crystallis. Another RPG for the NES. I haven't really gotten into to be honest with you. These are the reviewers right here, the four reviewer guys. Video shorts. And uh, I guess these are different, different video shorts here for different games. Snoopy. <laughs> that game is pretty funny. So we have Ghostbusters 2, Rollerball, which is a pinball style game. Ness Achievers. These are people can submit in their top score. Galaga, for example, Matt. Hardwick from Bothell, Washington scored over 18 million points. Nest Journal, where Nintendo uh, went to, uh, I guess, Boeing and checked out flight simulators. Check out these great graphics, it says. Big uh, <coughs> news from comic book fans. I guess they have a Nintendo comic system. Interesting, this is Nintendo World of Service now available. Uh, key for Nintendo Entertainment System success is the great network of product support Nintendo has established. Example of its continuing strive is Nintendo World Class Service Program which will soon be available at any World of Nintendo retailers. Remember World of Nintendo? I totally remember that. I remember playing the Nintendo M82 display unit, but this is, you can t t pop in your game, you can test your controllers out. This is a display thing. It's pretty cool. I totally remember that. Uh, this is <clears throat> Alice World Munchies. you got Nintendo Cereal System, Real Fruit Snacks, Mario Brothers Candy Bar, All Natural Juices, and Ice Cream Sandwich is hilarious. And check out her outfit. That is freaking cracks me up. Uh, celebrity Profile, Willie, Willie Ames. He looks familiar. I know him. He's from some 80s show, TV show. I know. I'm not quite sure where he's from. If you guys know, let me know. Pack Watches, games to watch out for. Low G Man, Isolated Warrior. All these developers no longer around, unfortunately. Super Mario Bros. 3. This is a strategy guide. Antenna Power, back issues available now. And Total Recall Contest, you actually meet Arnold Schwarzenegger if you win. So, that's my video. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. See you soon. Bye-bye.